My approach to business is slightly different than many other people who create exercise programs. If you just think about the word posture, you're thinking about being straight, having good posture, straight back. So it's like mother somewhere in the back of your mind says, say, be straight and you're pulling your back up and your mind holds on to it for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds and boom, you let go. And you let go to where you're comfortable, wherever your comfort zone is. And I'm thinking, if you take the word posture and you break it down and we're not get stuck in one position, but we actually realize it, make it more dynamic, and we're going constantly from position to position to position. It's like all the great teachers that tell us to be in the moment, and the moment keeps on moving and changing from moment to moment, and we observe it. The same way we can observe our body in movement continuously, and not get lost and forget. How to do that? So let's say you are in an office working and you are concentrating into the screen of the computer. If you just put yourself to the front of the chair and now the issue to pull off with these bones you sit on are on the edge of the chair, they give you feedback. You feel them and they give you a reminder to actually stack your bones one on top of the others. But that's not enough because from here you can slouch again. So you can do little shifts from one to the other. And as we're going to see in the program, there are way more things we can do. Though. But let's just try one moment at like two o'clock in the afternoon, when totally tired wanting to sleep, maybe another cup of coffee, and put your hands into your thighs and you press as you inhale. And you lift the rib cage up and lift the torso up as you're stretching the lungs. And then you exhale. And again, you press into the thighs and stretch the lung that starts all the way from the second ribs and stretch all the way down to the diaphragm and you stretch it and you stretch it and you stretch it and you pause there for a second or two without getting a blue and then you exhale and suddenly things are starting to shift inside the body you just want to be careful that when you are breathing in and that you lift the ribs up, but don't push them forward anymore. So it's not pushing forward, creating tension in the vertebrae, but it's pulling up. And exhale down. Suddenly you have more oxygen to work with, and maybe the cup of coffee you can wait for tomorrow. And then you're sitting for many, many hours, whether you're 60 or 70. Or 100, and you're watching TV, or you're working at home, or you're in the office, and your legs are moving, and you know that you need to do some movement with your feet, you've heard it, and you've seen it in many places, but maybe just lift your heels up, pressing it, and lowering it down. Lifting your heels up, pressing them up, and lowering them down. But if you want to get a little bit more, like get the lymphatic system to then you want to lift and drop, and 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 nobody needs to know, and nobody needs to see. But you know that you're getting some lymphatic movement.